National Educator. I'm in the space right now. I feel like maybe I've been sent there to investigate something and that's what now our class is. Oh, viewers, welcome. This is uh, Edu Channel. And of course, your host here is Aliwa David. And uh, the beautiful, beautiful show is a Geography Show. And Mwalimu here. Mwalimu, introduce yourself kindly. I'm <laughs> Mrs. Adelaide Muziani, a uh, geography teacher. Thank you, Mwalimu. Yes. And of course, if we would do a recap from where we were, this is a mm -hmm. continuation of a series that we began called Earth and the Solar System. Mm -hmm. And last time we were dealing with the solar the solar, the solar system. system. Yes. Maybe you can you just give us a, a recap to on what we dealt with before now we get into now where we mm -hmm. are right now. So last time we were looking at the members of the solar system. Yes. What the solar system is composed of or even how to define the term solar system. Yes. And we said the yes. solar system just simply means the sun, the planets and all other heavenly bodies heavenly that bodies. revolve around the, and around the sun. Yes. And, and then for the planets we have... Uh, Planets like Mercury. Mercury. We have Venus. Venus. Earth. Mars. Then there's, there's Jupiter or something. Yes, Jupiter. Jupiter Saturn, Saturn. Uranus and Neptune. 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 So those are the planets that we have. Yes. And we also said that initially it used to be uh, said that we, we still had the Pluto. The Pluto being know? the ninth. Yes, the ninth yes. planet. Mm -hmm. But it was reduced to be a dwarf planet. And you call so it, it is not considered... As part of as the part of solar this. system, and of, of course, also part of the planets. Also, the we talked system. about uh, the the path that they yes. use while the paths that are used while uh, they revolving. Yes, around. as they are revolving, and this is what is shown by these lines. Mm -hmm. So we have the Mercury's orbit. Mm -hmm. So those paths are the ones that we said are called orbits. orbits. So like here, we have the path that is taken by Mercury, Mercury. and that is called Mercury's orbit. Mm -hmm. We have another oh. path here that is uh, taken by. So it's, so it's good to name it's Mercury. Yes, yes. So Venus we have Mercury's orbit. orbit, we have Venus orbit, we have Earth's orbit, we have Mars orbit. Yes. But you can see there's a space between here and this one. For Jupiter, there's yeah. a very big space. Big space. We'll but this space is not empty. Yes. We have what is referred to as the asteroid. No, before, before we go there, because m m that one, I think now you're introducing a very new one. Of First course. of all, mm -hmm. on the recap, of mm -hmm. course, you about our last topic. We, we are talk going to. Uh, you are more talking mm -hmm. about now. T telling us about the sun being yes. being a star, the only star the there. The only star. Yeah. Now today mm -hmm. in this uh, now a continuation, as you said, a mm -hmm. continuation of this series, but or under solar system. Mm -hmm. What what are, what are we talking about today? Uh today we are going to look at other members of mm -hmm. the solar system. Or well, other members because other are, members of when you are defining, system. you talked yes. about the sun, the solar yes. system being the sun, sun the, the planets, the planets, and, and other, other members of the solar system, Take us which at that time we did not even look at. Yes. So this time we are going to look at these other members of the solar system. Uh, what are they? I've never heard of them. And then we also <laughs> have to look at them in terms of their characteristics. Mm -hmm. How do they move? Do they revolve around the sun? And all that. So what, so what, what, are, are, mm -hmm. what are some of these um, other members? So the other members of the solar system mm -hmm. are first the asteroids, asteroids, which I've just mentioned. According to this model, you can see these are the asteroids. asteroids are they, they are rocks. Are they rocks? Yes, they are simply rocks oh in space. Asteroids. So we have the asteroids. Mm -hmm. And then we have another member of the solar system that is called the comet the so this comet. is what is referred to as the comet yes comet comet yes it looks but like a, some, is it a snail or something uh, <laughs> it may look some like snail. a tadpole or but tadpole not a snail. oh a tadpole yes, i can see the head has, and a tail yes it has a head what about it yeah it what has about? a head and mm. it has a tail yeah, what about so it? when you look at the comet mm -hmm. you can see that it is moving this is its path. That is oh, why when you look at also. this model, you can see it is written comets orbit. Comets so orbit. it is moving round, but, hey. you know, its orbit cuts across oh. all the other orbits. Of but the now, this is, not, this is not a planet. No, it is not a planet. Is it because of the size or something? Uh, not Are they named? You know, you know for a planet, when you're calling a planet, it has to be... A spherical object. A spherical object. Okay. A spherical okay. object. But this is not necessarily a spherical object. Um. It's like a rock that is just moving in space. In fact, it has a head, and that head is composed of frozen gases. Frozen it gases. It is composed of rocks. Rocks. And then it is co composed of also ice. Ice on yes. at, in, ice. at the head. Yes, this this part now. Yeah, the the, this the part. head part. Eh? This head part. Yeah, so it's composed of 
ice, ice, frozen gases, frozen and rocks, and rocks, and rocks. Yes.